Hi, this is Laura Rogers, and today I'm going to show you a SharePoint Data View Web Part solution that will let your users fill out form, a form in a SharePoint list and have certain fields auto populated for them with information about themselves as the current logged in user. For example, we're going to can configure this custom test list to when people click new to fill out a new item it will automatically fill out a couple of these fields for them based on information about the current logged in user now where uh, this this whole uh, post that i wrote is based on the fact that there is a current user filter web part in moss enterprise so first of all i just want to show you some of the options in this web part so i just stuck a current user filter web part on a blank web part page to show you some of the settings in here and you have this ability to show just the current logged in user name or be able to choose from all these other different pro uh, properties about that user. So that's where I'm going to base uh, what I'm going to do today on. Um, I'm going to use the department field and the college field. The college field is just going to come from that school um, field in the current user. So what I'm going to do is go to SharePoint Designer and create a custom form. So we're going to create a custom new form for people to be able to fill out. So what I'm going to do is go to this list I have, take the current new form and just make a copy of it. And call it new form custom. So we don't want to edit that original form. We just want to make a copy of it and edit that one. So I'm going to open that form to edit it. And I'm going to delete the web part that's already in there and create a custom one. Now the original web part's gone. Insert SharePoint Controls custom list form and then I pick the name of the list. In this case it's called test list and I want to pick, I want to choose a new item form here. I click OK. Now I have my new item form. I need to be able to create a couple of parameters to be able to pass that department information and college information to that web part. So I can go to data view and choose parameters here and new parameter and call this uh, department param and make it a query string and then another new one and call it school param and make it a query string also click OK now the next thing to do is to make these two fields text boxes instead of list form fields so I go and change each one to a text box here And then this is the part where I have to go into a little bit of code here. So go into the code, select that department field first. So whichever field you select here, you can see it in the code view up here. And where it says text equals, I need to change that to that department parameter. So you can see as soon as I type a dollar sign, it actually gives me those options of the parameters that exist. So I change that to the department parameter and then I go to the school one and change that to the school parameter. Okay, save. Yes. And tidy this up a little bit. I'm going to delete this row for attachments. I have a whole other blog post that I did about what to do with that attachments field in a custom list form. So I'm going to save this and I can quickly hit F12 in the browser to go to that new custom form. And now what I want to do is add that current user filter web part to the page twice. I need to add it for each field. So in this case I have the department field and the school field. So I need to add for each of these fields that you need to pass that uh, default information into, you need to eat add another current, current user filter web part. So I'm going to go make this first one the department. Call it department and pick that department field. And I'm going to go ahead and change this um, title this web part to current user department. 
Don't worry, this web part's not even going to show, so it doesn't really matter what you call the title. It's just for myself, for help and testing. And then I'm going to call this one school, school, college, same thing. And then make this school, current user, school. Okay, and then what I want to do is pass these parameters to this list form. So I'm going to start here at the list form web part and get the parameters from and just go current user school. So when I choose current user school, I pick the school parameter. And then when I go uh, do the department, let's start here and get my parameters from the department and make that go to the depart from the department parameter, exit edit mode. And now, now the problem here is that I'm logged in as the administrator and the administrator does not have any fields filled in about themselves. So I'm going to go ahead and sign as a different user. And look at that. As soon as I log in as me, it fills in the form, the fields according to my information as the current logged in user. So there's my department IT and my college I went to is LSU. The next thing to do is to associate that new custom form that you created with uh, as the default form for people to fill out when they click the new button on this form, on this, uh, the new button on this list. So in SharePoint Designer, I'll right click here, go to Properties, Supporting Files, change this to Item, New Form, and then Browse to that new form custom. And go out, exit SharePoint Designer, and now when people click the New button on my test list, they get this custom form. That's it. You enjoy.